Welcome to the stitch guide. This week we are looking at the thistle stitch. This is a lovely, um, it, it's got like a lacy look to it, but there's there's no chain work. It's all US doubles, UK trebles. So it's, it's really nice. I think this would make a nice fabric for a sofa throw. So um, in this sample, I've used DK acrylic yarn with a four millimeter hook. For the tutorial, I'm going to use an Aran weight yarn with a 5.5 millimeter hook. So let's get started. So we're going to begin with a slip knot. And then chain two. So we're going to be working in a multiple of seven uh, plus one, and then we're going to make three chains at the end. We're going to start with a US single UK double foundation chain. So we're going to make 22 stitches. Yeah. So we're going to go into the first chain we made and pull the yarn through. We're going to then yarn over and pull through one loop. That's the chain that we're going to go into to make the uh, second stitch. Yeah, We're going to then yarn over and pull through both loops. So that's our first stitch. We then need to turn the work so that you can see that chain we've just made. We're going to go into there. Yeah, Pull the yarn through. Yarn over, pull through the loop. That's the third chain we're making. So we're going to make our next stitch in there. We yarn over and pull through both loops. So that's two stitches. We're then going to go under again into the chain. I just pull that back, you can see. Pull the yarn through. Yarn over, pull through one loop. Yarn over pull through both loops yeah. and we're going to go along Oops. for 22 stitches I'll just let you watch for a while moment if you're unsure what's going on So if you look, we're making our chain along, yeah, in the direction that we would normally work in. It feels like we're going up. Make sure you've got lots of slack on your yarn. You don't want it to pull. So go ahead and continue making your chain. You can pause the video or rewatch as many times um, as as you need. And uh, then we're gonna. I'm just gonna make my last two stitches now. Oops. So that's twenty one and twenty two. So these are a lot easier to count, I think, than um, normal chains. Yeah. So you should have a nice long row of them. So we can just count the tops. Yeah. One, two. Twenty-two. So you've got your multiple of seven plus one, and then we're going to chain three. So 
and then we turn our work and then there are all the backs like single crochets or UK double crochets ready to work in. So let's start round uh, one, uh, row one, sorry. So in that first stitch, we're going to make a US double UK treble and all the stitches for this pattern are US doubles UK trebles, yeah? So that's one, one stitch in there and then we're gonna skip two, one, two, and we're gonna make five stitches into that one stitch, yeah? After your five stitches, we're going to skip two, one, two. Working into the third stitch, we're going to make a US double, UK treble. And then a second one into the next stitch. So these two stitches are next to each other, they're not in the same stitch. Yeah. We then skip two, one, two, and we make five stitches into there. So after five stitches, yeah, we're going to skip two, one, two, and we're going to make two stitches again next to each other, not in the same stitch. So we make the first one, and then into the next stitch, we make the second one. Remember, all the stitches we make now are US doubles, UK trebles. So we're going to skip two, one, two, and we're going to make five stitches in the third stitch. After five stitches, you're going to skip two, one, two, and we're gonna make two stitches again next to each other. So we go into the first one. And then in the last stitch, that should be, we, we should be at the end now to make one stitch. And that's the end of the first row. Yeah. So we're going to chain three and we're going to turn the work. Let me just get some snap. So we're going to be working in between stitches. We don't work into the tops of any stitches. All of the work is in between stitches. So the first we're going to go in between those last two stitches we made on the last round and we're going to make two stitches. Into that same space, yeah. We're then going to hop across and we're going to go in between stitches number two and three. Yeah, we're going to make one stitch. We're then going to go in between stitches three and four of those five stitches, yeah? We're going to hop across and in between the two stitches next to each other, we're going to make five stitches. Yeah. 
so five stitches in between those two stitches and then I'm going to hop across and we're going to do the same as we did with the last group of five stitches we're going to go in between numbers two and three and then we're going to go in between numbers two and four We then hop across and in between the two stitches next to each other, we make five stitches. After five stitches, we work into this group of five, going in between numbers one and three. And then in between three and four. So we should now be at the end of the row. We're going to make uh, two stitches in between the chain space and that last stitch. And then you can either make the third stitch into that chain space or you can make the third stitch into the chain. I'm just gonna go into the chain space. And then we chain three. Yeah turn your work so that's the first row of our repeat yeah and then the second row of the repeat we are going to make one stitch in between the first and second stitch yeah we're then going to hop across in between the two stitches next to each other and we're going to make five stitches you just get some slack so one two three After your five stitches, we go across to this group of five. We go in between stitches two and three. And then in between stitches three and four. Now hop across and we make five stitches in between the two stitches next to each other. After your five stitches into the group of five, we work in between stitches two and three, and then in between stitches three and four. Hop across in between the two stitches, we're gonna make five stitches. After your five, after your five stitches, we're going to make two stitches in between that chain space and the stitch at the end. So you can do both sti both stitches into the chain space, 
or you can do that last one into the chain and then you would chain three turn your work and repeat this line again the line underneath so you're just repeating rows two and three if we say this is the first row the foundation chain doesn't count as a row of stitches so you're repeating rows two and three yeah and just keep making the same and doesn't that come up lovely in the um aran weight that would make a really nice chunky throw for the sofa um, and it has come up a little bit bigger than the dk so I'll see you in the next video.